Well, today is July 25th, and I have a smidgen of trivia to share about that date. Oh, please do tell. Well, it involves our old friend Jim Duffy and Secrets of the Eastern Shore. Of course it does. It's Throwback Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little birdie told me that he's been digging into the Delmarva newspapers from July 25th, 1959, looking for something important, fun, and magical. Did he find it? Well, we're going to have to ask him and find <laughs> out, I think. <laughs> All right, Jim, so what's the big deal with the date? Oh, oh. He's pulled. Yes, I'm ah. Ah. It is the day that I was born. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's quite the look you got going. Yeah, I like that. It kind of almost matches the sure. shirt. Not quite. Yeah, almost. Yeah, makes the makes the shirt pop. <laughs> exactly. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's okay, so, so what did you find? There had to be something. So yeah, you know, you get this feeling like you know, I found here my beloved forever home, and you get this idea, kismet, karma, whatever, and you think maybe something really fun happened on the day that I was born. Oh my God, it was, really, without a doubt, the most boring day <laughs> in the history <laughs> of the world. I am not kidding. Come like on. Even the national news, it was like Vice President Nixon said something about Russia that nobody cares about anymore. Some heiress was supposedly kidnapped and it was big front page news and on my birthday everybody found out that Nothing happened. She faked the whole there thing. There had to be something. There was not. Nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, there was not. It, actually, it was all bad news. In Ocean City, a bunch of restaurants got cited for sanitary violations. Yuck. Okay. In southern Delaware, there was a big rainstorm. Some roads got ra uh, washed out. Yuck. In Easton, there was a big brawl, and a bunch of people got arrested for... It goes on and uh. on. Even the predictions. There was a prediction. The building industry. There was a story about the building industry. And they were promising in 1959 that within 10 years, we would all have disposable houses. We would buy a lot. <laughs> we'd build a house. And then in three to five years, we'd tear it down and we'd build another one to fit our new station in life. They promised that to me <laughs> in 10 years. And here we are 55 years later, and this weekend, I've got to do repairs on my 1930s house. <laughs> uh, uh, 55 years? No, 50, 10 years. They said 10 years. They said 10 years. They said 10 years. So, okay, yes, okay. 65. Do you have any Medicare advice for me? <laughs> so, uh, are, right. are there any Wait, silver? There was, there was one. Okay, one silver. There line. was one. There's a guy, uh, 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 a young boy named James Henderson. This was like on the very last corner of the last page of the Salisbury paper. The only interesting thing that happened on the most boring day in the history of the world. <laughs> James Henderson was a young man and he was in City Park, he was playing in City Park. Perhaps he was uh, riding his bike because he was at the bike rack and he found a wallet on the ground and that wallet had $15 in it. And he took it to his older married sister, uh, her name was Shirley Willie, I believe, she lived on Johnson Road. And the two of them marched straight to the police station and returned the lost wallet with $15 in it. Aww. And I would just like to say, after my depressing search <laughs> through all the events of the day, I don't know what happened to James Henderson. Perhaps he's still in the area. Perhaps he's watching this afternoon. If he is, he should look me up on Secrets of the Eastern Shore. I would like to send him a reward for his good deed back when he was a young boy. <laughs> I'll send him a book, what, 15 bucks? What's the appropriate reward? Like five bucks? I'll send sure. him five bucks if he wants. He should get in touch with me because I'm filled with gratitude for him representing the values of my forever home. I feel like that's a consolation. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But it's, still, it's, is there anything we can do to make up for well, your disappointment? Well, I, I had a couple ideas. There, okay. was, there, was, there, was, there were a couple ideas. And, you know, at the end of the year, it would be a late gift, but at the end of the year, you do this year-end thing where it's all the times you misspoke or mm -hmm. you said the wrong <laughs> thing and all that. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been practicing. Mm -hmm. I would really like to be on the poopers reel. <laughs> the poopers reel. Wait, did I say poopers? I meant, I meant the bloopers. The bloopers, <laughs> the bloopers <laughs> reel. I am so sorry for saying that. And that is my audition for the for, end of the year. For the end of the year. You got it. You got it, Jim. All right. All right. All right. Happy birthday. Thank you.